Welcome to Gear Vlogs Automotive Podcast, a hybrid call in talk show where you, the viewer or listener of the Gear Vlogs YouTube channel, can tune in and listen to the latest in automotive news and happenings within the automotive space. I'm Mario Gear. Want to be a part of the show? It's easy. Just call our show voicemail hotline at 805. 805- 419-5129 any time of the day of the week before the following Thursday and leave a message. Or now just join us live via the Clubhouse app and come on stage and be a part of the show. This takes place every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. If you're not already doing so, consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that thumbs up, share this out, and tell your family and friends. So sit back, Crack open the cold one and enjoy the show. SEC to Elon Musk. Regarding your tweets, a deal is a deal. Commission says Tesla chief complains about legitimate inquiries into his conduct. New York. The top U.S. security regulator on Tuesday urged a federal judge not to let Elon Musk escape in an agreement requiring that his Twitter use be monitored, which the Tesla Inc. chief executive considered part of a campaign of harassment. In a filing in the federal court in Manhattan, the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission said Musk had not met his high burden to set aside a 2018 consent decree requiring that Tesla lawyers approve tweets and other public statements that could be material to his electric car company. Okay, let's keep reading. It's not enough that Musk found compliance less convenient than he had at hope, end quote, or wished the SEC would stop investigating Tesla's disclosure procedures. Quote, when it comes to civil settlements, a deal is a deal, absent far from compelling circumstances stances, than are here presented, end quote, the SEC said. The regulatory agency also urged the U.S. District Judge Allison Nathan, who oversees the, the decree, to reject Musk's bid to quash a subpoena requesting records concerning his Twitter poll last November over whether to sell 10% of his Tesla stock. Alex Spiro, a lawyer for Musk, declined to comment. Tesla did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Legal experts have said Musk is unlikely to have the decree set aside. Earlier on Tuesday, Musk danced and joked with fans as he oversaw the opening of Tesla's first European factory located near Berlin with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz in attendance. More to follow up on that story shortly in the next uh, segment. Tesla also had a factory in Shanghai. The company has made Musk the world's richest person, according to Forbes magazine. The SEC dispute stems from the regulators' claims that Musk defrauded investors on August 7, 2018, by tweeting that he had Funding secured to potentially take his electric car company private at a premium, when in reality, a buyout was not close. Tesla and Musk settled by each paying a $20 million civil fine, with Musk stepping down as Tesla's chairman. Musk has since accused the SEC of harassing him with roving and unbounded investigations in a bad faith effort to punish him for criticizing the government and exercising his constitutional right to free speech under the First Amendment. But the SEC said it has broad authority and a legitimate purpose to investigate Musk and Tesla, and that Musk could oppose the subpoena only through a subpoena enforcement action. Musk complained about the sheer number of demands by the SEC from 2018 to present, which he characterizes as harassment, end quote. The SEC said, but Musk's own chronology of uh, alleged demands is both uh, underwhelming and reflects legitimate inquiries as to new potential volatile conduct by Tesla and Musk, it added. 
the subpoena related to Musk's tweet that he would offload ten percent of his Tesla stake if users approved. A majority did, and the poll caused Tesla's share price to fall. Musk has since sold more than sixteen billion dollars of Tesla stock. So yeah, do you think uh, the SEC is going after uh, Musk on this, or are they uh, actually doing their jobs for a government regulatory agency, which I find uh, hard to believe if they're actually doing good? With all the, what's that called? Um, government fat. So yeah, comment down below what you think on this one, and let's get on to the next uh, Tesla. Musk story in the next chapter. Here are some videos YouTube thinks you might like. The next segment clip will be up shortly. Be sure you hit that subscribe, like, comment, and share buttons for this episode. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you soon.